Hello, I've created a NURBS torus and a NURBS sphere, red and blue. When we go to a window called the Hypershade, which is this icon here, we can see the shaders here and we can make connections between the shaders. And uh, this is, uh, there are many tutorials about the Hypershade window and uh, this is a connection uh, window basically. If I select this, for example, and now um, click here, I see connections here. Uh, left are the inputs and right are the outputs. For example, the Lambert, the blue one for the Taurus, uh, puts out the color to a surface shading uh, engine here, which will be rendered later. So this is this uh, what it's about. Um, very similar, but uh, not related to textures window, is the node editor. And the node editor sits here. It's in a very prominent position, Windows node editor. Uh, Keep in mind, if you want to reach the Hypershade, which we just called up, you need to go to a sub-menu, Rendering Editors, Hypershade. But the Node Editor seems to be so important that it's right here, below the Outliner. And uh, we, we'll just call it up. Uh, I have this kind of reddish grid here, and I want to make it more grey so it's not that obvious anymore. Uh, Probably with the default settings, the whole scene here, the whole node editor background comes as black. You can change this here. Please follow me here, Windows. And now it's Setting Preferences and we're dealing with color settings. And in the color settings section of node editor, it's quite low down, further down here, node editor. Uh, this is the red I have in my, um, in my grid. So I can make this more or less grey and save it. Let's call the node editor up again. OK, um, the node editor makes connections just like the hypershader, but you can uh, connect uh, arbitrary individual attributes with each other. And i just give you one example here. Uh, and the example goes like this. We have the torus, and the torus has a make NURBS torus section here in the attribute editor, and one of them is the start sweep. It's currently set to zero, which means it's fully intact, and now we go to 180 degrees, so it's half, and then we go to 360, and then it's kind of, it's, uh, it's not there anymore. I want to use this parameter, the start sweep parameter of the torus, to control the radius of the sphere. Now, the radius of the sphere is here. Make NURBS sphere, here is the radio. It's, the radius is currently set to 1. So I want to control the uh, radius with the start sweep. Two totally unrelated parameters, but uh, it's a good example for showing how the node editor does connect really interesting things and very deeply. So I select both of, both of them, open the node editor and press this icon here. It shows me the in and output connections of the selected objects. Uh, basically, this is the NURBS, make NURBS sphere we dealt with. This is the NURBS sphere shape which comes out, which we actually see. And this is the texture it carries. And the same with the torus and uh, the Lambert shader. Um, if it doesn't seem logical to you, it certainly is, but uh, you don't have to deal with it anyway. What we'll do now is we'll look for the, in the torus section here, for the start sweep. And we want to feed the start, start sweep of the make NURBS torus into the make NURBS spheres radius. Okay, let's do it. First of all, uh, let's expand this. I click, double click here, and I click again, and then the whole section opens. So, and here you see the end sweep, for example. And you can put out the end sweep and feed it in somewhere here. So let's arrange this window here, and uh, open this one here. And here I have the radius. So all I'm going to do now is 
start sweep into the radius. Maya creates a unit conversion node here, which sort of uh, sits between the two nodes. I actually made this connection directly here, so this is this is new here, and this is a very important node, and I'll show you in a second why that is. Uh, let's move this window to the side, and here is the effect. We don't see our sphere anymore because the start sweep here is zero. That means the radius of the sphere, which is basically here, is set to zero, and now we can choose the start sweep in order to increase that radius. You see? So the start sweep is now 1.8 goes up to 360 so uh, the radius currently is uh, of the sphere is 1.8 now uh, this is a, of course very extreme so with very subtle motions here we get a huge 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 sphere so we can change this with the and then I call up the node editor again with a unit conversion here when I click on it it opens in the um, attribute editor and here I have a conversion factor and I don't know why it's 57 let's reduce it to 2 now we're back here and we, we increase this and the radius is much more visible now the radius change is more, much more subtle so that's basically all I wanted to show you in this introductory tutorial about the node editor you can of course introduce things with a tab key uh, like uh, blend colors or whatever two attributes here uh, and uh, make connections with these nodes the utility nodes they are called and basically this is a very good starting point uh, for subtle connections bye bye